I'm going to convert the whole chapter light into the form of question and answer. This may be useful to the student who are appearing different examination, especially SEE examination. Okay, today is first part. Let's start. Number one, what is light? This is a very simple question. We can say like this. Light is a form of energy which gives sensation of vision. Next question. What do you mean by the ray and beam of light? This is a very common term related to light, very primary term. The smallest path along which light travels in a straight line is called ray of light. And this ray of light can be represented like this. Here, the arrow mark represents the direction. And what is beam of light? Collection of rays of light is called beam of light. It means the group of ray of light is beam of light. Now, next question. Mention different types of beam of light and so with diagram. There are three basic types of beam of light. Number one, parallel beam. Number two, converging beam. And number three, diverging beam. Parallel beam is very, very common, but converging beam and diverging beam comes in the study of lens and mirror. Okay, next. What is lens? Now, lens is a portion of transparent refracting medium bounded by two surfaces of which at least one is spherical. This definition has very great meaning. What is told here, it is a portion, means not big object. And this is transparent but a refracting medium. What it mean? It means light cannot pass straight through it. It will bend when it comes out from the lens. And it has two surfaces. This is bounded by two surfaces of which at least one is spherical. To be a lens, at least one of the surface out of two should be spherical. Otherwise, a uh, window pan is not a lens. It's one surface at least should be spherical. Okay, this is definition of lens. And let's go to the type also. Name the types of lens. Basically, lens is of two types. One is called convex lens. Another is called concave lens. Now next, what is convex lens? Convex lens can be defined this way, very simple definition. A lens which is thicker in the middle and thinner at the edge is called convex lens. And this is the major identity of convex lens. If a lens is thick in the middle and thin at the edge, that is convex lens. Now there are different types of convex lens also. Now I am going to introduce them also. Name different types of convex lens and draw each of them. Look at this, are uh, different types of convex lens. And to understand their different name, I want to introduce something other than this. Let's say this is a portion of a spherical object. Now this surface, which is bulged out, is called convex surface. And this surface, which is gone inside, is called concave surface. In this lens, both the surfaces are bulged out. It means both the surfaces are convex surface. That's why this is double convex lens or biconvex lens. But in this case, this is convex lens because the middle part is thicker than the edge. That's why this is convex lens, but one of the surface is plain. This surface is plain. That's why we can say this is plano convex lens but this is also a convex lens in which the middle part is thicker than the edge but one of the surface is concave this surface is concave that's why it is concavo convex lens okay now let's go to another what is concave lens this is just opposite of the convex lens a lens which is thinner in the middle not thicker, thinner in the middle and thicker at the edge is called concave lens. And the question, another question is name different types of concave lens and draw each of them. If it is so, then we can draw three different types of concave lens. All these are concave. How can we identify looking at its middle part and its edge? Middle side is or middle part is thinner than the edge. Here also middle part is thinner than the edge here also the same but how they are named both the surfaces are concave that's why it is double concave lens or biconcave lens here it is concave lens because middle part is thin but one of the surface is plain that's why it is plano concave lens in this case 
one of the surface is convex but this is concave lens because middle part is thin so it is convex so concave lens this way they are named okay now let's go to another question name any five terms related to lens this is very important part we are entering into very important part different terms related to the lens is very necessary because numerical problem also depends upon these parts and uh, the diagram also we have to draw with the help of these points that's why i want to introduce this center of curvature number two principal axis number three optical center and number four principal focus or simply we can see if it is focus and number five focal length these five terms related to the lens is very very important without the understanding of these terms we cannot proceed i mean to say we cannot study lens very clearly that's why i want to tell you about these terms one by one let's start with center of curvature define center of curvature and show it with the help of diagram now this is the diagram okay look at this is the center of this glass sphere this surface forms this center and this sphere this is the part of this sphere and this is the center of this sphere that's why this is the center of this spherical glass this is the center of this spherical glass in the same way here also in case of concave this surface has got this uh, center and this surface has got this center and these centers are named as c1 c2 c3 c4 uh, for convenience and this c1 c2 c3 and c4 are center of curvature now how can we define these points we can define this way the center of the sphere of the glass by which the surface of the lens is made is called center of curvature that's why in the diagram c1 c2 c3 c4 are the center of curvature okay let's go to another question define principal axis and so it with the help of diagram now we can uh, see diagram first look at this i want to introduce first diagram what is the difference between this previous diagram and this there's only one difference a line is drawn between the center of curvature here also a line is drawn between the center of curvature actually this line is principal axis it means this c1 c2 is principal axis here c1 c2 here c1 c2 the line is principal axis but how can we define this principal axis this way a line which joins the center of curvature of two surfaces of the lens is called principal axis of the lens okay let's go to third point define optical center and show it with the help of diagram now we are talking about optical center this is optical center this point the central point of the lens this is optical center and this is a point which lies on the principal axis i mean to say it is in the principal axis but the principal axis inside the lens here also principal axis inside the lens and a ray of light if passes through this point it passes straight without bending this is the speciality of this point that's why what can we say about this optical center optical center is a point on the principal axis within the lens through which the rays of light passes without bending it is denoted by the symbol o or c okay next define principal focus and show it with the help of diagram now we are talking about principal focus or sometimes we say only focus also this is the diagram and in diagram i want to show this is focus this is focus but how to define this in case of convex lens the rays of light coming parallel to the principal axis after refraction meet at focus but in case of concave lens the rays of light parallel to the principal axis appears to be diverging from the point that point is focus and this focus lies on the principal axis how can we define this this way 
the principal focus or simply the focus of a lens is the point at which the ray of light originally parallel to the principal axis of the lens pass through or appear to come from after refraction passes through in case of this convex lens and appear to be coming from in case of concave lens appear to come from after refraction by the lens it is denoted by capital f okay now next define focal length and show it with the help of a diagram okay we can define this way the distance this is the distance from optical center to the focus of the lens the distance this distance we can measure this distance on both the side this side also this fo focal length can be measured or in this side also we can measure because in both the side this length is equal okay now how can we define this we can define this way focal length of a lens is the distance between the optical center and the focus of the lens it is represented by the letter small f don't be confused small f is for focal length but capital f is for focus okay next why the focus of convex lens is called real but for concave lens virtual same focus is called real for convex lens but the same focus is called virtual for concave lens what is the reason this is very simple because light passes through focus of convex lens but light doesn't pass through the focus of concave lens it appears to be coming from focus and this is the real reason we can write this way the ray of light coming parallel to the principal axis of a convex lens really passes through the focus but the ray of light parallel to the principal axis of concave lens does not pass through focus but appears to be coming from focus so it is virtual focus okay we can take a note also focal length of convex lens is positive but the focal length of concave lens is negative because focus is real that's why the focal length of convex lens is taken as positive the focus is virtual that's why the focal length of concave lens is taken as negative okay let's go to another question how can you estimate focal length of a convex lens practically if we have a convex lens and we have to roughly estimate the focal length of that convex lens then how can we do so we can write this way at first the convex lens should be placed between the object and the screen and then when the lens is placed close to the screen and slowly taken away towards the object we'll get sharp image of the object on the screen at this time when we get sharp image we have to take care of this at this time the distance between the lens and the screen is roughly equal to the focal length of the given convex lens okay let's go to next what are real and virtual images very interesting some of the images are called real some are called virtual and what are they exactly the image which can be obtained on the screen is real but the image which cannot be obtained on the screen is virtual very simple the image which we get on the screen of the picture hall that is real if we cannot get an image on the screen that is called virtual image now there are other differences also that's why write down differences between real and virtual images we can write this way real image and virtual image image which can be obtained on the screen is called real image this is the definition and image which cannot be obtained on the screen is called virtual image this is definition of virtual image next difference is it forms by the real intersection of the reflected or refracted rays of light the image which forms by the real intersection of the reflected rays or refracted rays is called real the rays which are coming from the object are when reflected or refracted and intersect at a point then the image becomes real but virtual image it forms without the real intersection of the reflected or refracted rays of light the rays of light coming from the object are if really not intersecting with each other after reflection and refraction even after this we can see the image of the object then that image is called virtual image and the third point light really reaches up to the image 
because it forms by the real intersection of the reflected or refracted rays of light. But light really not reaches up to the image in case of virtual image. Okay, next, write down the rule of refraction of light through a convex lens with diagram. Now we are actually talking about the image formed by convex lens. There are different types of image a convex lens can form. Now we have to talk about this but before that the light follows certain rule when it passes through a convex lens. Now we are talking about those rules. First, second and third. I divided it into three parts. I mean to say there are three rules. Number one, a ray of light parallel to the principal axis of convex lens passes through the focus after refraction. Look at the diagram. This ray of light is parallel to the principal axis and it passes through the focus after the refraction. This is the focus. And this is first rule. And second rule, a ray passing through the optical center emerges without deviation. This is optical center and if a ray passes through the optical center, then it won't deviate. It will pass straight. This is second rule. And third, a ray passing through the focus and incident on the lens after refraction emerges parallel to the principal axis. This is just the opposite of the first one. A ray of light coming through focus when falls on the convex lens, then it refract being parallel to the principal axis of this convex lens. This is just the opposite of the first. That's why there are two major rules, first and second. These rules are very, very important and we'll use these rules to draw diagram related to convex lens. In next class, I'll tell you about the image formed by convex lens. These rules are applied in making those diagrams. Okay, this much for today.